So uh, we have seen some examples uh, previously and also in the test that uh, there are some Mobius transformation that transforms the uh, upper half plane to interior of a circle. All right. So let us now do it generally. That, that means uh, to find, we want to find uh, all Mobius transformation, all Mobius transformations, transformations that transforms, that uh, transforms uh, the upper half plane, the upper half plane what is the upper half plane imagine your z is greater than 0 uh, onto uh, the unit circle unit circle in the w plane unit circle uh, w equal yeah, w is inside onto the unit uh, inside the points of the unit circle onto the unit circle to the interior uh, interior of the unit circle and the real axis real axis real axis is imagine of z equal to 0 onto the unit circle onto this uh, so that means we want to find all the Mobius transformation that transforms this is real axis y uh, imaginary axis and here your u here is v zero so this is z plane so this real axis transform to what the unit circle this is one radius one and the upper half plane is transformed to what the points which are inside okay that means mod w is less than one these points okay so you want to find all such Mobius transformations in L Mobius transformation. So that means, uh, so we have what? We have uh, your Mobius transformation W. You can take that AZ plus B, CZ plus D, where AD minus BC is not equal to zero. So we want to find the conditions on A, B, C, D, uh, such that it has a form general form uh, that uh, says that the upper half plane goes to the inside points all such Mobius transformations okay so so what we take in the real axis we take uh, point zero then we also take point one okay so and the point at infinity okay so those points zero one and point at infinity should be transferred to what transform to points on the unit circle okay so first of all so uh, we take what uh, z equal to zero first so then you'll see that what is your w if z equal to zero this is b by d and then this where your your mod of w equal to one all right that means what your b by d equal to one and that that is same thing as modulus of b is equal to modulus of d and which is not equal to zero so b and d are not zero and similarly uh, we take the second point i take z is point at infinity then uh, what is your w so when it is at point at infinity your w was nothing but what a by c okay w is a by c because we know that your t of infinity was transformed to what a by c when c is not equal to zero and c not equal to zero because those point at infinity should be transformed to a point which is not point at infinity that is on the on the uh, circle unit circle okay so therefore we have w equal to a by c uh, that is we will see that your the mod of w is one because that is on the unit circle so i have what a by c is equal to one and that implies that modulus of a equal to modulus of c and which is not equal to zero so both a and c are not equal to zero okay and because a and c are not equal to zero so we have we can write your w equal to so i take a a then uh, z 
plus b by a and here c z plus d by c because a and, a and uh, c are not equal to 0 okay so this is equal to a by c and z plus b by a and z plus d by c and i can write this as a by c and z minus z not c and z minus z1 where where what is your z0 z0 is minus b by a and z1 is minus d by c uh, and oh, what is your modulus of z0 and modulus of z0 is b by a and uh, and b by a and uh, and modulus of z1 is equal to uh, d by c okay d by c and uh, we already have that your uh, since your b by d equal to 1 and this is a by c and that implies that what your b by a is equal to d by c okay and that implies that may not be equal to 1 but b by a in modulus equal to modulus of d by c and that implies that modulus of z0 is equal to modulus of z1 okay modulus of z1 all right so we have so we got that your w equal to a by c z minus z0 and z minus z1 where modulus of z0 is equal to modulus of z1 and which is not equal to zero okay so these are the things we already got and and uh, this can be written as e to the power i alpha z minus z0 z minus z1 as your modulus of a by c equal to 1 and that implies that a by c equal to modulus of a by c is 1 so e to the power alpha where alpha is the argument of a by c so i can say that alpha is a real number okay so alpha is zero so we have got up to this that w can be written in this form all right so now uh, we will we'll, we'll take what now take now take the other point now take z equal to 1 so then if z equal to 1 what is your w so your w is e to the power i alpha then this is z uh, uh, 1 minus z naught then 1 minus z1 okay uh, since this for z equal to 1 w for this w also what mod w should be 1 this should be transformed to the unit circle uh, we have so we have what we got that modulus of w is 1 so modulus of 1 minus z naught is equal to modulus of 1 minus z1 so we have got this so in the next video i will proceed further 